we could all use tools that will equip us and be more efficient in our businesses and this boss babe is no different. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you my top five apps that I absolutely have to have to run my business as an event planner and designer every single day. So if you're interested in finding out what those apps are, stay tuned. It's Melanie and welcome back to Living Luxuriously for Less, where we celebrate, decorate, and enjoy everyday life for less. If you are new here, I would like to stand, extend a very warm, personal welcome and invitation to become a member of the Lux for Less family. Now, if you would like to become a member of the Lux for Less family, all you have to do is click on the big red subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so that you will never miss out on an upload. If you are true to the game and you're not new to the game, welcome back. You guys are absolutely incredible. I am so happy to have you guys a part of this community. And you know, as always, I have something super special in store for you all on today. So if you heard me in the beginning of the video or if you read the title, you know that I'm going to be doing another business related video and you know even though I'm an event planner these are definitely some tools that you can take on in any you know scope of business that you may be in so I will be covering some tools for event planning and designing it would also apply to you if you are an interior designer or any type of entrepreneur or business owner like myself so without any further ado, let's hop into the five business apps that I absolutely love and use every single day that are essential to me running my day-to-day -day business operations. And we're gonna start with app number one. So for those of you guys who have been here for a while and you know me, you know how much I dislike measuring tapes and rulers. Like I hate measuring tapes and rulers. However, this app has been a game changer for me. The measure app, I'm not sure if this is available on an Android phone, but if you are an Apple user, this is definitely a game changer. So the measure app uses like AR reality, uh, augmented reality technology to turn your device into a tape measure. So this will allow you to gauge the size of real objects automatically. So if you're designing a room or space, you can measure your wall, you can measure your couch, you can measure uh, dimensions of a rectangular object, circular objects, and you can save the uh, measurement so that you can reference it, reference it later. I've been involved, uh, past few months, I've been working on a um, renovation project and this app has came in great handy. You know the drama is never ending. Don't let it get the best. App number two is Canva. I absolutely love Canva. Um, I started out using a free version for a while, but Canva Pro is a design software that makes design simple. It makes it convenient and reliable. With this app, you can create what you need in no time. It is jam packed with time saving tools that make anyone look like a professional designer. Now I've used these to design my YouTube thumbnails. Okay. I've used them to design flyers for ministries. Um, I've used them to design flyers to advertise my services for my business. I've, you know, when I got upgraded to the Canva Pro, I've even used it for my event layouts, like to show my clients how their events would look in 3D. Also in my interior designs, I'll show you guys some of those um, so that my clients can approve them. And again, like I said before, I used the free version for years. However, when I converted to the Canva Pro app, a whole new world opened up for me because there are tools that are available in the pro app that were not available in the free one in the free version and if you guys are interested in this i will leave a link down below and if you want me to do a video showing you how i've used canva in every aspect of my business i will link that down below as well to app 
app number three, and that is Zoom. With most people working from home these days, like Zoom has become a necessity. Most of my client meetings are being held uh, virtually these days and having the Zoom mobile app on uh, my phone affords me the opportunity to meet wherever I need to meet. Like so many times I'm like on the run and I forget about this Zoom meeting and then I get a notification that I have a Zoom meeting. And so with me having a Zoom app on my phone, I can meet them at home or I can meet them on the go. I can't tell you the number of times that I've held Zoom sessions in my car, in the parking lot of Hobby Lobby, in the drive through line at Popeye's, <laughs> McDonald's. I mean, there are so many strange places that I have held Zoom meetings because I've been on the run, but you know, hey, it, it, it's just the nature. I mean, it's just the nature these days. So what's like the strangest place you guys have ever had a Zoom meeting? I would love to know. Like I've met, like I said, in the parking lot of Hobby Lobby, ordering my, my mini Mac from McDonald's. I have like special things I order. So I would love to know your most, like the strangest place you've ever had a Zoom meeting down in the comments below, but keep it PG, okay? Keep it PG, keep it clean, all right? All right, moving on to app number four, and that is Dropbox, okay? I have to have the Dropbox app on my phone because so many times, you know, I uh, have larger files or videos that I would like to send or share, especially when I'm recording on my Apple phone. Like right now, I'm recording on my phone this YouTube video, and I need to be able to share that in a quick, time or if I'm working on a project with a client, you know, I may we need to, uh, that client to share with me a video of the space or the venue that they're, they're going to be using for their wedding. So they will put that in Dropbox and I'm able to open it up on my phone. And while I'm talking to the client, it's just a huge help for large documents and files. It's a lifesaver. You can categorize and organize your projects very, very easily. So Dropbox is a much have for me. And then app number five is HoneyBook. Now you guys know I've talked about HoneyBook time and time again, but it's my way of communicating with my clients and keeping everything, you know, really organized. It's a, a client management system that I never knew that I needed, but now I cannot survive without it. So being able to create invoices on the go, being able to shoot, um, storyboards to my clients on the go, being able, you know, my clients being able to, me to be able to sign their contracts once they sign them. I don't have to have DocuSign with HoneyBook because HoneyBook, you know, allows them to sign digitally without DocuSign. So it's like all encompassing. I can do my uh, invoices in there. I can do payments in there. I can set Zoom meetings through HoneyBook. I can do my finances through HoneyBook. I can also do my calendar is in HoneyBook. My contracts are in HoneyBook. Like everything is in one app. So it's all encompassing and I don't have to do all like five or six different apps for my business. So it is definitely a game changer for me. The fact that I can use it on my desktop and on my uh, phone is just everything. So like literally my whole office is in that one app when I'm running my business. And I love the fact that I can use it for my event planning clients. I can also use it for my interior decor clients. I can use it for just uh, floral clients, rental clients. Um, I know photographers that use it, caterers that use it, graphic designers that use it. So it, it just kind of goes across, like it spans across all small businesses. And uh, there, are, there is also a time tracker in HoneyBook now. So like when I have employees that work for me, they can clock in and clock out. So that, <laughs> you guys, let me tell you, I'm in the middle of doing my taxes right now. Thank God for the extended tax refund. Okay, can we give God a praise for that? So I'm in the process of doing my taxes right now. And all I have to do is log into HoneyBook and print off all these things I named off to you, attach my receipts and we are good to go. So it is definitely a must have app. And then you guys know it wouldn't be me if I didn't do a bonus. And that is like having all of those social media apps, Facebook messenger, you know, all of those things on your phone is definitely a game changer. You can go from one app to the other to post, you know, your, whatever you need to post for your businesses. And it will definitely keep you consistent in your posting and things like that. And if you're looking for like a, uh, some type of app that will help you like schedule your posts, Tailwind is a great app to have as well to post from like Facebook to 
Instagram and you know all of your other social media platforms. So I would love to know down in the comments below what apps do you guys have to use to manage your businesses on a day to day basis or just in your life like I'm getting ready to add the Weight Watchers app to my phone because your girl has put on too much weight. So that is going to be a must have app for my personal life. So I would love to you for you guys to share with me the apps that you use every day in your businesses and in your lives that has been a game changer. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Friday Five. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, it's Melanie with Living Luxuriously for Less. Cheers.